This buff, I say, has been a long time coming, but in Benny Enma's, or in Lasagna's defense, Benny Enma kind of was, like, good at what she already was doing that they probably didn't feel they needed to buff her. But the game is at a point in time where uh, a character like Benny Enma is just too slow and a little too unwieldy to start with. Uh, whether from 50, from uh, 0, however you're playing, kind of didn't need this buff. So let's finally go through me talking about Benny Emma again. Don't even remember when the last time was, but yeah, let's get started. Uh, base attack, 11.6k attack. Awesome. This is like a little above uh, the midpoint. Not too like amazing, but eh okay it, it's not a bad number let's just say that hp almost 14k this is a little on the low side but she has healing and other ways to just stay alive so again not the biggest of deals epi charge 0.56 percent this is a little bit of a pain point it makes her refund a lot harder uh she is expected to be critting on all her cards which as an art servant, not the best, especially for refund wise. But I I don't want to be saying could be worse. I, I really don't want to be saying worse with these reviews, especially when we're talking about five star. Uh, but based on most teams you'd use with Benny Enma, like you shouldn't be hurting for refund that much. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. You're supposed to be face guarding too. Like not she could this lets her do farming now it doesn't mean like she has to be doing farming um yeah it's okay number uh star gen a little above nor uh average for sabers lawful good alignment uh not gonna go too in depth in traits hit counts six hit quick card awesome uh for mighty chains this is just good um I don't know about my chains with the MP. I think there are a lot of better options you can do. Although, if you want to throw in a buster card and to get the uh, whole chain bonus, like you, you'd want to lead or uh, end it with buster card. But if you have arts cards with Benny Emma, you should be clicking the arts cards. Like you shouldn't actively be going for brave chains if you can choose something else all right so i of mine false was and i of mine true but i believe it's especially more common with false so far uh let's double check real quick this is a skill that wasn't buffed for like the longest time uh no one that had this skill ever got it buffed then last year, uh, Assassin Cheeky was the first one. Uh, and it's not just for rank A. I believe it's for every single Eye of Mine false. The ones that had it the strongest were the ones that got it buffed before all these other uh, units. So this skill, like tactics, like charisma, is now officially up for getting buffed. And you see here, Okita, Hell, uh, the Regan himself might get his uh, Eye, of my, Eye of the Mind buff because there is a one-star assassin that is able to get buffed. Who knows? It could be the Regan himself. But this buff gave her 30 battery and 30% arts. She didn't have either of these. Well, she had the battery. It just was 20 and... 20 is a very awkward number for charge. Uh, but now she has 50% battery in her own kit. And a card buff she did not have. Is this the most amazing buff? No. Does it need to be like super cracked? No. Like she just she just does more damage. She refunds better than what she did before. That was a big pain point for people. Uh and now it's lightly fixed i'm not gonna say that this changes everything because it doesn't but it does help it definitely helps 
second skill 20 percent defense down 30 percent uh crit chance down mp seal and a slight heal if you if you get upset at betty emma because she heals the enemy like this is like a thousand hp is like the difference of you absolutely min rolling and then you just min rolling like it this is rarely ever the only time a thousand hp matters is when you don't kill someone by a thousand hp that's the only time that as they're at full hp who cares if they heal that they, they didn't gain any hp um this skill is not the best but only in terms of farming like a cq this is awesome um because you just like they don't get gauge and they're just gonna take more damage pair this up with like tom mo just uh bring the cooldown of this down from uh six down turns to, like four and you have like really good uptime on this and on this because both of them are six turns so as long as you're popping them in the same turn, your cadence with uh, Tomomo isn't going to change, which is something you, ha all, you have to consider when cooldowns are different for skills, uh, especially with the cooldown reduction. Uh, sorry, the cooldown reduction uh, a pen skill that we now have. Like, you have to actively be aware if certain skills have a longer cooldown you need to pop them first if you don't have it maxed out you need to pop them in the right order and if they ha already have cooldown reduction in their kit even more of a reason you have to be aware of that like space irrational if you miss time her buffs you are missing out on so so much because if you've seen the farming for her people are double popping her battery as an art servant that is ridiculous Back to many Emma though. I was talking about Tom Mo, but I was talking about the wrong Tom Mo when we're talking about uh Benny Emma. Bitch is the one that is obsessed with her. Third skill, 20% attack, buff removal resistance for the entire party, 20 battery for the entire party, heals the party by a thousand, and the enemy covers a thousand HP. Like I said last time, this doesn't matter unless they already had damage and that you left them alive with less than a thousand that is the only time this is ever going to come up and when we're focused on damage numbers and the latest 90 plus plus of upwards of uh close to three million in a in a wave that's one enemy a thousand isn't gonna matter a thousand of three million is less than one percent i believe it's like a third it's either a third of a percent or a thirtieth of a percent. This this isn't this was a demerit when HP pools maxed out at two hundred thousand. Uh, this doesn't matter when the enemy has three million. Back to this. Back to the passives. Also six turn two. Deep of resistance twenty percent. Independent action, 10%. Presence concealment, the assassin passive, 10%, which honestly, this is actually really solid because A, A, this is an art servant that already has a base star gen, so there are, her art cards aren't going to gen nothing. But if you do decide to do a mighty chain uh, or a mighty brave chain, A, extra attack, going to make a lot of stars. And then B, this quick hit, or six hit quick card is gonna gen so many stars for a saber i'm not gonna say it's gonna be like super crazy amount of stars but it is gonna be like a good amount of stars probably like 20 to 30 maybe 35 max but also only if you end with a quick card so arts buster quick probably for some people but if you're more focused on uh, refund B A Q. Uh, all right, now. Oh no, we're not done. Uh, ten percent arts passive. So in her own kit, she now has thirty percent arts. She did have an arts buff, but it was just like really small in comparison. Now it's like a lot closer to a mana burst. 
Uh, and final ventriloquism. Skill sealed debuff. She cannot be skill sealed. Very nice that her, like, these are always going to be active. They, you're never not going to be able to pop these if, if you were to be able to be, yeah, if you were able to be popping them. So, in, like, and I'm talking this morning, they had a blog post that says, A, all serving coins that have ever been spent for Grail Caster are being refunded along with grails that if you could have made them you'll get them so people that spent servant coins in the past that had multiple copies and burned it because the game said you're not gonna need these serving coins anymore you can just burn them people are gonna have more options um if they were in tight spots they're gonna get out of those tight spots but for benny emma which skills does she, or which of pen skills does she want? Does she need mana loading? With a, with a 30 and a 50, I don't think she absolutely needs it. Does she want it? Yes. Does she need it? No. Um, does she want skill reloading? This... I want to say just yes for most DPSs, especially if you have even the chance of running them with someone with cooldown reduction and for every art servant that is Tomo. Uh, I I would say the skill reduction is probably something you want more. But he is a single target servant and you would probably be using her in CQs. So should you get extra attack finesse for Benny Emma? This is, this is where like being able to choose different appends, like you actually being able to swap them like command codes. This is where it's going to come into play uh, because for, for farming, you might want this and this, but if you're doing a boss fight and you already plan on doing and like starting with 20 doesn't matter for you that much. Like if it's, if it messes up how you would start, you can just like take this off and put on a different one. Um, I think in general for a lot of characters, this is probably gonna be like this and mana loading are probably going to be the defaults pretty much only. Oh, it's called skill reloading. Okay. Okay, uh, yep, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, anyway, it's either going to be between mana loading and skill reloading, especially for farmers. If they're DPSs, you have more options. Benny Emma, did she want the crit damage? Yes. Does she need it? No, you can give the crit damage is a very abundant buff. On this, this changes the base amount of crit damage that Benny Emma has, and then is, um, then it goes through the crit damage formulas um like with any extra buffs that is a completely different story like if this changes your base crit multiplier from 100 percent to 20 and then that becomes your new base um yeah it, not uh Hmm. Like, I think in math terms, it doesn't even matter. I, yeah, no, I think in math terms, it wouldn't even matter whether this was happening because this is just percentage scaling in the first place. Because you're always multiplying. Hmm. Yeah, I think, I think a pen three is probably going to become the most useless if it's not already, especially for berserkers. No one is going to even uh, humor unlocking third a pen. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting stuck here too much. Uh, TLDR, because Benny Emma now has a built-in 50, she doesn't need mana loading. As a DPS, she'd probably want extra attack. And depending on her team, you probably want this. So those are, 
out of all this coherent, un, incoherent mess, you really can't go wrong with these three. But again, it depends on what you plan on doing with Benny Emma. And her MP is kind of the reason I lean more to her at least having extra attack. Because the only thing about her MP is she gives herself two different power mods. One for chaotic, one for evil. They last for a turn, and that means that you carry it over to the extra attack. Extra attack gets buffed. It already has um, better scaling. It will already do more damage, more refund, more star gen. Stacking this on top of it, because they should be multiplicative buffs. They should multiply to make extra attack hit so fucking hard. Like this is, if you don't have any power mods when you like extra attack, like this is almost going to double your damage uh, for how hard an extra attack can hit. If the enemy is chaotic, it's only 40. And if they're only evil, it's 40. But if it's they're both chaotic and evil, it is a total of 80%. No, I probably just said that, but just wanted to fully clarify it. And yeah, that is a lot of power mod. If you go, go for higher overcharge, it's not the biggest jump. Um, overcharge with Benny Emma kind of doesn't matter that much. It's a very small increase uh, and usually isn't going to break the bank. Uh, yep. All right. Mats, they don't look too bad in my point of view. And yeah, no, these Benny Emma is tame. She is tame for a five star. The one gold mat she needs is for her ascension. She doesn't need gold mats yet, uh, outside of that. Uh, she does need it definitely more on the appends. There are three different gold mats and not a small amount of them either. But I unfortunately have seen way worse. I've seen far more egregious level up requirements. Bon CE, 15% uh, power mod against chaotic, 15% against evil alignment. Um, and one last thing that I want to start adding for these videos, and it is future buffs. What kind of buff do I want? Even though I'm talking when she literally just got buffed, I kind of just also want to bring up uh, where she can go in the future. Uh, so, Benny Emma. Her base damage went up a lot. I believe she was in the 40s, and now she's in the 50s. And that's without an MP buff. An MP buff is going to bring her to 68,000. That is literally just under what Musashi gets. So... If Benny Enma was to get an MP buff, her MP2 would become MP1. And this damage here would become MP1 if she's hitting both of them. Well, the, like, yeah, hitting both of them uh, on MP1 or without the buff is almost equal to hitting one of them with an MP buff. And that's not even counting if they add other buffs too, because he doesn't have normal effects. It's only power mods. Uh, Miss brought this up in his uh, breakdown today, or his buff breakdown. If you're not, if Benny Emma isn't hitting niche, she's not gonna do that much damage. Uh, it's right now. It's definitely not wet noodle damage. This is still higher than most uh, mo like her competition by a good 20 percent like and like 25 percent of 40,000 is 10,000 so she is a good 25 percent hitting 25 percent harder than her other competition like Saito uh lot the trunk sisters Medusa Dioscuri yeah, like literally her competition, she just went up.
and unlike a lot of the other servants they do not have power mods to like bump their attack as high um because of that i don't think an mp buff is very likely and i think if they were to buff her again it would be on her second skill and they would make defense down uh a little more crippling yeah no i think it'd be a uh more crippling and hell they can up the healing received as the demerit as if they make this like more of a crippling debuff skill okay so should you be summoning for betty enma it really depends on what you're doing uh if we look at chaotic evil lancers I mean, it's not zero. She does have like full niche cases, and one of them is a rush goal. Uh, it just sucks that the rush goal we fight in the story is a ghost, not a lancer. Um, berserkers, a lot of chaotic evil berserkers, like a very good amount. And then also looked at alter ego because they can't. Oh, uh, they can't do. They uh, deal less damage to you. And it's Kiara, Doman, and Tiamat. Like, yeah, even like this power mod is enough that you could bring Benny Emma type E neutral and she'd pretty much do very well. Um, but she has a very wide net. Hmm. Hmm. Right now, like if you're looking for a farmer, Benny Emma is not it. If you are looking for more of a DPS servant that can do crit st stuff, like someone that would pair better with uh, Popus Johanna, uh, I think Benny Emma is like, uh, will serve you very, very well. Um, yeah, I like this servant. Uh, I got really lucky with her when she, uh, I played her rerun event. I was touched by like her story. Um, she's good. She's uh, to love trouble's daughter, uh, and she's a good burb. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.